<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Ah, gentlemen, ain't no fun when the rabbits got the gun. <laughs> and the rabbit that I'm talking about is Jay Cutler. Now, this article was published two days ago. And gentlemen, I want you to listen. And when you read the article, watch the language that's being used. Why Jay Cutler is making divorce with Kristen Cavallari a nightmare. Hmm. Female own group preference and female bias on full display within the title itself. Kristen Cavallari and Jay Cutler's divorce gets heated after Cutler starts making unreasonable demands, making the process a nightmare. Apparently, the woman who wrote this article must have been living under a rock her entire life. Fans of the show, that very Cavallari ended after Kristen Cavallari and Jay Cutler filed for divorce. At first, it seemed like the divorce was going pretty smoothly, but that seems to have changed. It appears that Cutler is doing his best to make this process an absolute nightmare for Cavallari. Wow, gentlemen. Wow. The double standard is not even being hidden in any way, shape, or form. Although they had arguments on the show about Cavallari struggling to find a work-life balance and spend enough time at home while running a business, it seemed like the couple was happy together. However, in the last season of Very Cavallari, there were rumors that Cutler cheated on Cavallari with her former best friend, Kelly Henderson. While evidence of cheating never came to light, it seemed a little odd because Henderson refused to discuss the situation with Cavallari and she ended up cutting Cavallari out of her life completely. Shortly after, Cavallari and Cutler realized they were in different places in their lives and both wanted different things, so they filed for divorce. The divorce seemed to be going okay, but now Cutler is making headlines because per TMZ, he is reportedly demanding ownership of half of Cavallari's successful jewelry and apparel company. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. Jay Cutler is definitely making some serious waves with this one. Uncommon James, which is the company that was founded by Cavallari. He believes he deserves half of the company because Cavallari started it while they were married and years before they filed for divorce. Um, Little Miss Ryder, it's called community property. So yes, he is entitled to half. Cavallari is refusing to give him half of the company because she claims she fully funded it on her own. Who gives a flying squirrel's ass? We all know, and it has been thoroughly demonstrated, 
when men found companies and they're married, no one has a problem. In fact, it is standard operating procedure to give her half, even though she didn't put a dime into the company, nor did she put an hour of work into the company. Well, guess what? She still deserves half. So yeah, Jay Cutler deserves half. It's interesting to note that during a very Cavallari episode that aired in 2018, Cavallari said this when discussing Cutler and her company, quote unquote, he thinks he owns half of this company and he does not. This is not on our non-existent prenup. Uh-oh. No prenup. Guess what? He really deserves half. <laughs> it was uncertain at the time that the episode aired if Cavallari was joking or not. But based on what's going on with their divorce right now, it's probably safe to say she was serious. It's sad to sit back and watch the couple's divorce take such a nasty turn so quickly. But after getting to know Cutler's personality from the show, it's really not much of a surprise. Oh, wow. Wow. She's really pulling no punches and trying to throw Jay Cutler under the bus. Whether or not he really cheated on Cavallari is something fans may never know. It will be interesting to see if C Cutler, excuse me, gets his way with his unreasonable demands during their divorce. Ah, yes. I'm going to reiterate. Ain't no fun when the rabbits got the gun. Yes, Jay Cutler has put another glitch into the gynocentric matrix. Win or lose, he has set a new precedent. Gentlemen, start taking legal action against these women. And if the cops, if they get involved, if they don't want to do their job, guess what? Start suing them too. See, the reason why in my humble opinion, the reason why women get away with such frivolous crap and violence against men is because we men won't take legal action against them. Gentlemen, if your wife is making more money than you and she wants to leave, hit her over the head with the alimony hammer. See, all this one-way aggression no, gentlemen, uh-uh, mm-mm, mm-mm. Too many men in the past have been shamed out of taking legal action against women. And that's why they get away with so much of the crap that they get away with nowadays. But yeah, Jay Cutler has definitely set a new precedent. He does not give a flying fuck. And yes, per community property laws, he deserves half. Interesting how no woman ever comes out and tells another woman, hey, you know what? That man started that company. You didn't do anything to help him. So yeah, you know, you shouldn't get half. Oh, no, 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 no. Well, she was there. Her mere presence alone makes her deserve half. So guess what? Let's go ahead and balance the scales. His mere presence in her life was enough for him to deserve half. But this just goes to show you more and more men are taking the red pill in some way, shape or form because men are tired. We're tired. So yeah. Yeah, I hope more men start taking legal action against women. If she wants to get violent, guess what? Sue her. 
If she makes more money than you, guess what? Hit her with the alimony, alimony hammer. Excuse me. Yeah, let's make this society as legal and equal as they want it to be. Mm-hmm. Well, that's about all I got to say for this video. Let me know what you guys think. And ladies, the power will eventually go out. Feminism and all of these laws on the books that have been used to beat men into submission will one day go out right along with it because slowly but surely, more and more men are waking up and running off the plantation. <laughs> and it's a beautiful thing. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM. I am...